are you banning Russian oil imports? Uh, Nothing is off the table. Among a long list of sanctions, there's one tool that the West does not seem eager to use. I will do everything in my power to limit the pain the American people are feeling at the gas pump. This is critical to me. You know, we haven't touched energy flows whatsoever, uh, not a bit. And so if you are still buying Russian gas or were buying Russian gas, you know, six weeks ago, you're still being, buying Russian gas today. And, and our prevailing fear of the last 20 years has been that he would turn off the taps for, for natural gas or for oil if ever confronted. And I think that's still a, a very uh, real risk and threat, uh, you know, today. And if Russian President Putin decided to weaponize oil and gas, the Western coalition's commitment to sanctions will be put to the test. JP Morgan estimates the price of crude could spike to $150 a barrel if Russia's exports are cut by half. That would send prices at the gas pump skyrocketing and aggravate what is already the highest inflation in 40 years. Might he do it if those revenues are all locked up in, in foreign bank accounts because of U.S. sanctions? Perhaps. Right. And you can easily imagine a scenario in which he says, if I can't get the money anyway, if it's all going to be locked up in New York or locked up in London, what's the point? I might as well turn off the taps. And so there's a little bit of a, of a, of a cat and mouse game that's now developed of, of trying to decide who's going to do what when and what is the, the retaliation that's going to be available.